What's up, Mission Hills? I'm Colin. I'm on staff here at Mission Hills. And I'm Kelly, and we are so glad that you are joining us. Last week, Craig reminded us that we want to be listening to God's Spirit, and one of the best ways to be doing that is to know God's voice by reading the Bible and by having a reading plan. So we've got some great staff picks for you. want to share with you how you can get into reading the Bible this year. We have some good stuff, whether you've been reading the Bible for a really long time or if this is going to be your first reading plan. So if this is going to be your first reading plan, we have a really easy access point, and that is going to be the YouVersion Bible app. We actually have a really cool story this weekend, uh, Church Online. Kelly was uh, our moderator, and somebody messaged in. They're like, I've never done a reading plan before, but I'm really inspired by Craig's message, and where do I get started? And YouVersion Bible app is a really easy place to get started. It is free. You can download it on Android or Apple devices, and they have all sorts of reading plans that you can go through. Long ones short ones, things that are focused on topics, things that are focused on books of the Bible. It's a really easy access point for people and it's just an awesome tool. Yeah, I love that. Another good app for you is Dwell. Now this one is $30 for the year, but it is a great way to get some more Bible in your life. And this is an app if you want to listen to the Bible instead of maybe reading it. So it's good if you want to be doing it while you're doing the dishes, by cleaning, working out. Maybe if you're commuting, Dwell is a really good app for you. And with that Dwell app, podcasts are really just kind of taking off here. So we have another staff pick by Neil Yukel, and it's John Piper's Solid Joys. And they're these really short four to six minute episodes, and he really dives in deep and puts a lot of structure really quickly into these grand topics. And one of the cool things you can do too is if you have an Alexa speaker, or a Google Home speaker, or anything like a Sonos in your house or anything like that, you can just say, hey, play Solid Joys by John Piper, and it'll play all throughout the house. It's really easy to access. It's a really cool thing. Yeah, I love that. I actually did that this morning as I was getting ready, and it's just so nice to have just a couple of minutes of inspiration as you're getting ready in the morning. Another pick is New Morning Mercies by Paul. Paul David Tripp. This is one that I'm actually reading. It is a 365 day devotional. You can see I've been reading this since last January. I'm in about July at this <laughs> point, so I need to catch up. But I love this. It is something that just has a little bit of Bible at the beginning and then some really practical application. And so it's been really helpful for me, especially over the last year as I've been reading this. And I will be working on catching up on that as well this year. But I love this one by Paul David Tripp. No, that's really cool. And another uh, a couple of staff picks we have here are My Utmost First Highest by Oswald Chambers and then Experiencing God by Henry Blackaby. These are picked by Deb Mitchell, who is our marriage director here. And these are really cool if you're looking for the sanctification and looking to go a little deeper. These are not going to be your first uh, reading plans. They're not going to be your first devotionals. They are a little bit more in depth, but they have some really good material in there if you're looking to dive deeper and really kind of take your faith into the next step with this re these reading plans. They have stuff in there every day for you to look through and they're kind of short reads too so you're not going to be devoting a whole morning to it or a whole evening to it too but yeah. they have really awesome material in there and both authors are just fantastic. I love that. I've got another staff pick from Angela Park in our women's ministry, Streams in the Desert. Um, this is a morning and evening study so you can see it is a little bit thick but it does come in just a morning or just an evening option as well. Yeah, don't get intimidated by the length. <laughs> <laughs> but it is so good especially if you are weary, if you're going through a difficult season, this is a really good reading plan. Um, and I know that this year has just been really hard already for people. And so if you are having a hard year, this is a great one to dive into. Um, Streams in the Desert by Kalman. And a couple of other quick picks here. These are going to be a little bit of an older language, so don't get intimidated by that. They're two tried and trusted authors that are really fantastic. The first one is Morning and Evenings by Charles Spurgeon. It's written kind of similarly to the Streams in the Desert here, where they have these morning and evening devotional pieces. And then we also have a, a year with C.S. Lewis. Mm -hmm. So these are going to be different types of pieces from his works, and they're just really awesome, deep, well-thought-out devotionals from a couple of really good authors. And they're awesome points to start the day. I mean, you can't starting the day with Spurgeon or C.S. Lewis. I mean, that's always a get a cup you of can't coffee. Go wrong. No. <laughs> I love that. I've also heard really good things about Embrace by Lisa Turkhurst. If you just want a dose of inspiration in your morning, that is a good one to go to. And no matter what you're going to be reading, we want to encourage you choose progress over perfection. As you can see, I haven't been reading every single day, but just get into reading, into your reading plan, into your Bible. It will make a difference in your everyday life. And we're hoping going through all these different options here, you're going to see something that works for you, whether it's going to be technology, listening while you're doing the dishes or it's going to be something that you sit down with a journal and a pen and you write all over it in the morning and you're looking to take that kind of next step. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have anything right now, you're in luck because if you swipe over into the next piece, we're going to give away three different devotionals this year, three different reading plans. It's going to be a really cool place for you guys to start. So we hope uh, that you guys are going to be a part of this with us and we just really want you to get started somewhere. So swipe over on the next slide to enter into that contest and let us know in the comments what your reading plan is for this year.